First thing you want to do is set up your flight controls and I did a video on how to set up tank controls so you can look at that one for basic instructions but I've already set mine up so you want to set yours up to be like mine. Um, I've been flying aircraft for quite some time and uh, these controls have worked very well for me so I would recommend you try these out first and then set yours up to whatever you like after you have a little bit of experience or uh, I, I really recommend you do not use the default control scheme that Gaijin has set up for you because a lot of controls are going to be inaccessible unless you have a third arm growing out of your chest so I would recommend you start with this one so you don't have to learn anything else because again I've been using these for a long time and they've worked for me. So let's look at the controls mode for aircraft. Mouse aim, that's what you're going to be using in arcade battles and realistic battles. Sim, you get into this section here, but we're not going to touch that yet. So here's my control setup. Take a look at those. And you can pause the video here if you want to set yours to that. You're especially going to want to set your uh, pitch axis the way I've set mine up and if you go into it this is what it has S W inverted yes blam and what else here's those settings again this is just a quick run through of what the settings are pause the video if you need to adjust your controls to match mine these ones and these don't really matter smoke these two don't matter instructor shut all that stuff off you need to learn to control that stuff on your own and then those also you're gonna wanna check your common controls map stats leave the vehicle uh, this is x-ray mode it shows you the internal modules and whatever is damaged it will show up in different colors most of these are pretty simple for push to talk I don't generally use the in-game chat feature so let's just roll through these real quick and that's what those ones look like these ones you don't have to change much if anything and tracker I don't use but you can use an IR tracker if you like it's a uh, sim pilots speak highly of it but it's quite the investment and I wouldn't bother getting one unless you really fall in love with flying sim battles but because this is a how to start guide and welcome by the way let's take our airplane into the air in an air arcade battle and we have an XP booster or an RP booster today for our first battle because that's what we got for our daily reward. Let's take the D500 since we're in the French airplanes. But the guide I'm going to show you today applies to pretty much everything that you start out with. They're fairly simple. So now we on. And if you look, we have three vehicles lined out in our crew slots if you need to add a vehicle to a crew slot just click the research tab click on the vehicle and then click on the crew slot you want to assign it to and there's our guide how helpful all right and we're already in i set my gun convergence to let's go with 400 and you want to have minimum fuel load so you can have maximum performance to battle. And we climb as we go toward the enemy. My goodness, that's loud. Let me uh, let me change these settings a bit. Sound, game volume, much lower. And then other players' engines, my engine turned down. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, we're climbing as we go toward the enemy. That way we will hopefully be on top of the pack before we get into combat. And you see people have already uh, jumped down uh, to low altitude. And I'm just going to target this little pea shooter down here and dive directly down on him because he's in my area and I'm going to introduce him to the neighborhood. 
It's best to engage people one at a time. Beautiful. And because this is arcade, we don't have to worry about over speeding, so we can dive as fast as we want to. Just be sure to climb immediately after that to recover your altitude. And check out who's in your area. There's another P26. Let's introduce him to the neighborhood. Hello, would you like some cookies? I baked them myself. We're telling him the good news. And then we're pulling away. Let's let our teammates finish him off while we reload our ammunition. It's good to share. Alrighty. I'm not used to... Oh, actually I got the kill. Never mind then. Well, they had a good chance. As you can see, because we've maintained our altitude by pulling up after attacking people, we're on the top of the pile, and because we're in the blue area of the map, our side of the map, we don't have to worry too badly about enemies jumping on us. Now let's say hi to the I-15. It's best not to dive directly down on someone, but to come in on their tail. A la vie. Aim a little bit ahead of the lead indicator. Pull up, reload, check your six, reset, and do it all again. Makes sense? And we're watching our airspeed here in this climb. If you look at the top left, you see our speed is decreasing rapidly. This airplane has no problem flying at under 100 miles per hour, but it's best to keep your airspeed above that. Now we're going to climb and head toward the enemy. And again, we're just waiting for someone to come into our area. We're staying at high altitude, uh, relatively, and anyone who's below us is easy food for us. If the enemy gets above you, you're going to have a tougher time, because like a falcon, he'll swoop down on you the same way you've seen us do, for these poor, poor beginners to the game <laughs> that, I, that I'm picking on here in this first battle. And it looks like our team is doing fairly well. I am indeed on top of the team for kills with three, which is appropriate considering <laughs> the amount of time I've spent in this game. And you just want to dive on people, as I said, and, and focus on people who are distracted or who are not focusing on you. Um, let's go for this guy. Pull up. And come back down. Hey, friendly. Got him. He done messed himself. Okay, and now we're climbing and we're heading back toward the blue section of the map where the friendlies are. And it looks like we've just about wiped this map clean of enemy fighters. So we could go down and attack some ground targets, but I don't feel like it. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> We've killed them. We've killed them all. <laughs> that, as they say, is that. There's how to play your first match in Air Arcade. And uh, we got the most kills in our team, and we won the match. Good reward. High fives all around. Cheese for everyone! <laughs> so... I was demonstrating a few things that I haven't told you about yet. One of those is keyboard flying. I was using my keyboard controls to pull up. Did you see how the camera didn't follow exactly as I was pulling up? Because I wasn't using mouse aim to pull up. I was using joystick or I was using keyboard flight to pull up. And that is a skill that you should pick up right away, flying with the keyboard, so that you know I do it smoothly because I don't have to think about it anymore. But the mouse aim is best for fine controls, like when you're trying to stay on somebody's target when you already have them in front of you to aim your guns. 
and then the keyboard controls are best for large uh, maneuvers like pulling up out of a dive or defensive flying and I will show you more in upcoming videos but guys thank you for joining me for this first battle feel free to review this because we did do very well here and this can give you a clue <laughs> as to how to do your first battle in the air now you go do your first battle do your best and remember what Papa Toshio told you keep your altitude high dive down on the enemy tell them the good news also you're gonna want to aim for just ahead of where the lead indicator is telling you and the lead indicator is is just a guide it's not a perfect uh, hit solution anyway guys I've got a lot more to teach you and I'm so glad you've decided to join this game I'll catch you in the next episode bye bye <laughs>